All right. Now by the time you guys are watching this video, this car should already be painted. I have a little extra time on my hands and I bought this the other day and I wanna go ahead and set it up. Now the reason why I bought this is I found myself hurting my back and standing in weird angles because I didn't have somewhere to rest or sit. I went out to Harvest Fade and saw this roller seat and it wasn't that expensive. I read the reviews, most of them were pretty good so I went ahead and got one. This is gonna be my first ever shop chair so you guys are gonna see me build it. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot to build but I do know we gotta assemble some things. I would have really liked for it to have like a back seat supporter, like a back supporter but it doesn't, just one little circle. And the reason why I got this one is because you can adjust the height. They have other chairs in Harbor's Freight, but this one right here can go higher than the other one, so it is a little taller. I am under 300 pounds, but I gotta make sure we don't exceed that. And then the chair does go around in 360, so we're gonna be able to spin in here while we sit on it. So let's go ahead and build this chair. Now, again, I did get this from Harbor's Freight, so it was around $30. I'll link down below for you guys, but let me show you what comes inside. This is how it comes packaged. All right, now you're gonna get the spring, you're gonna get the chair, and then you're gonna get the roller. So it's just these three things right here. And a owner's manual. I honestly thought this video was gonna take a little longer to make, but these are the only things that came inside the box. So let's go ahead and just set it up. All right, now you're gonna put the large end right inside the little stool. And it's just gonna sit there. Now we're gonna get this bad boy and put it on top. And that's it. <laughs> now we gotta sit on it. Yeah. Honestly, this chair is so dope. I really like how heavy it feels. My body is half the way that it's recommended to you, so, so we shouldn't break this anytime soon. The bottom part is also a nice tray to keep all of your tools. I have a bigger one of these, but I can stick this to that. And then we can keep our little bolts or tools or whatever we're using there, and it's gonna be magnetized, so. I'm very happy that we got this chair. I've been eyeing this chair at Harvest Freight for a minute now and I finally have it. I have a couple cracks on my concrete so I'm gonna go ahead and roll over them and see how it feels. Muy bien. Well, that is gonna be it for today's video. I know today's video was very short but that's only because I didn't think this thing was going to be so easy to assemble. Like I said, by the time you guys are watching this video, this car should already be nice and painted. And if you're watching this video, just know that the next color I plan on spraying is midnight purple. So, best believe I'm going to paint a car that color. What car? No sé. But until then, this is Javi's from Javi's Productions. Peace out, my friends.